Well, alrighty. Today I'm showing how to install the PHP MyAdmin web interface for your MySQL. And uh, ahead of time, uh, what I had done was it checked around uh, using the software packages interface. I looked around and I didn't have certain things that are helpful for this. So uh, these three packages, uh, multi-byte string, get text, and the mycrypt, the updated one, because uh, the, the, if you don't have the PHP 7 version, it's depreciated. But uh, so those three are not on my server yet the way I have done things in the video so far. So let's see. So we're adding those three in. And of course, uh, if you're watching this video from the web pages, right below is a copy and paste text so that you can do this yourself. All right, so that's done. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in the, uh, that's on the wrong screen, we're going to do uh, we're going to install PHP MyAdmin software. And I'm going to see how this is going to go. I should be asked a couple of questions while it's being installed. So the normal methods of install, the way, uh, the way I read them, command line, uh, you get interactively asked a few questions that are pretty simple to answer. So I'm hoping this installation method picks the right choices, which I think it's going to do. Let's see. Alright, so let's see. Turn to module index. So, uh, oh, there's, there's also something that I forgot about just the, the first three packages I installed are, um, are there, but they're not activated. So we want to uh, enable those modules. So let's see if I can do all three at once here. All set. Escape key. By the way, this, this handy dandy little right here, this, this terminal, um, if you try it on a mobile device, you don't have an escape key to get out of it. So you're kind of uh, in a bad circumstance. All right, so those are enabled, the software's on. Let's, let's go take a look at Apache. I'm pretty sure that this installation method, yeah, you don't get, you don't get uh, physical access to the file through Webmin for that, that particular um, the, there, uh, in the, uh, my English isn't working. I did, I did have coffee too, so there's no excuse. So, um, there is an, uh, there's a configuration file, um, for, for this PHP my admin, um, Let's see. And I think let's see, so is it sites available, configurations available.
not where I thought it would be. Alright, maybe I still haven't done that symbolic link. Gotta do a symbolic link here, which also that annoys me that uh, inside the file manager I found no way to do a symbolic link. So you're making a link symbolically uh, between the uh, Apache configuration and the PHP my admin so this is the one that was installed and we're making the symbolic link so that the normal apache directory has access to it So there's our symbolic link is there now. Uh, I'm just going to jump over if I can to the actual file. And this is this is the actual your actual directives for Apache. Now normally these things are made automatically when you do it the webmin way and you're in servers Apache and you build a new thing but because of the way this is installed it's kind of uh, it's a little distant from your access. Um, okay uh, let's see Also, because I, I'm, because of the way this, that particular configuration file is is put in, I don't really have access to tinkering with it. Um, just checking a couple of things to make sure they're on. Let's see. You've been on for a long time. Okay, so so yeah, the because we don't have uh, normal point and click access to it, there's another command line that we've got to do. We want to enable uh, Apache to enable the configuration. things should be all set now um, just for grins and giggles I'm gonna hit the reload here on the Apache server the uh, okay so this is where your command line instructions are coming from that I'm using is this site and of course they're linked above or below in the text of the web page I have um, <clears throat> this guy is pretty good here. Uh, he seems to have some things that are, you know, very specific and, and uh, slightly dated in his instructions. Like uh, his install, he doesn't spe specify the the uh, the newest. Um, oh, where did, where did he do it? The crypt somewhere in here. He doesn't have. Uh, he doesn't have the, the text right for the newest version of mcrypt. Uh, Alright, so so when you're done installing phpm, my admin, it should be whatever URL you're using, if it's localhost or whatever, 
slash php my admin and now this page should uh, should load okay and then uh there is no default user i think i remember the way things are set up So you're initially your login to your MyAdmin. The only way you have in is with the root user name root, and then uh, so now you're you're in, and uh, all your your database you have access to all your different databases. Uh, this is all the specifics to run this particular website that gives you access, and then. Uh, so your standard MySQL stuff. So basically you're going to see your, say, Drupal uh, databases in here later on. And uh, while you're in them, uh, you can do all different operations on them through this interface. Uh, there's, uh, it, it takes a while to get used to it, but there's, there's uh, there's just so much in here. Like you can paste in uh, SQL commands from from say something that you backed up before. Just copy it from a text file, paste it in here, and boom, your whole database will build the way you the way you uh, backed it up. Um, you got user accounts for uh, that you have access to as as the admin. Um, so, uh, have fun clicking around on your own, but, uh, this is, this is by far my favorite tool for dealing with my SQL databases. Um, what else? I I'm, I'm drawing a blank for anything uh, that I wanted to show that was like really handy, but uh, yeah, it's just drawing a blank. The the one thing that that uh, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna try it again in in the future is uh, one thing that you can do while you're setting up your Drupal is you can have a database that's named with a, a you know. A username and database name that are different from the defaults which uh, is Drupal 8. I tried doing that in in a past set, setup when I installed uh, Drupal 8 and it would not allow me to use my custom name and username uh, in Drupal 8 for the databases so uh, we're gonna try that again in the near future and see how it goes. So that is basically the end of, you've got your PHP MyAdmin installed on your system. So enjoy. And now uh, the, the securing of that directory because PHP MyAdmin, I guess, has some uh, known flaws with access. This fella here on DigitalOcean gives a nice way to give uh, protected directory access to to your instance. So here's his command line instructions. Uh, I'm gonna go over here and uh, do something similar to what he's done uh, for the most part using Webman. In your other section you've got protected web directories. So uh, we're going to create, this, this basically does the same thing that his command lines are doing. Uh, and let's see, just going to check and see something here.
user share PHP my admin. Why didn't I see that? User share PHP my admin. Hmm. What do you know? Okay, so this is where the the interface actually runs from. So uh, this is the directory that we want protection on. So, oops, over here in protected web directories, we're going to add protection for a new directory. Directory path is etc. QRS share. Why am I not finding you? Oh, no, 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 shit. User share, not et cetera share, and then the page. Bullseye. Alright, so that's our directory. Uh, we don't have one yet, so we're leaving that on choose automatically. We don't have uh, groups picked yet. Uh, Unix encryption is fine by me. Authentication realm is supposed to be the message in the box that a person sees when they go to log into that again. Um, so let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, what do I want to say to people? realm all users and files fine synchronization settings now I think uh, I think I like the idea that if I add somebody as a user on my server that when they get updated that this HT access file will get updated so I'm gonna have go ahead and check those but it's not necessarily that I want every Unix creator Unix user that I might create in the future to have access to this. So I'm going to go ahead and make it with those settings. And then I need to add one new user. So... So that's my new user and what happens is that that password that you had just entered in there uh, will be uh, encrypted into the htaxs password file. So let's see, um, just to, to show what's going on. We want to get back to that spot in that was just at before. So uh, user share PHP my admin. Now you see there's a HT access file and an HT password file. Those were where they were created. And uh, the access file you'll notice has the same settings that our uh, DigitalOcean said to set up. And if you look inside your password file, you'll see the username followed by some sort of a short encryption, a Unix encryption of that password. So let's let's see the page we were just at recently. Um, Oh, 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 I just remembered something I forgot. The 
the uh, sites available. Um, this is another thing that annoyed me because, let me see, it's set. We want to get back over to it's set. PHP my admin and the Apache comp file. Okay, the there's great ways to to deal with these things in. Uh, all right, file some blue links is on. There's great ways to deal with this in the in the webman interface, but. Uh, Because this was installed in a non uh, webman way, you have to you you have to use this text editor method for for fixing this. The allow override all uh, I'll show you in a second, but it 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 alters the way that server works the way the Apache server works for those particular settings. So now uh, a reload on this should block my access to it and and it's asking me uh, it, it's site so that's restricted so it's only for PHP my admin. So now I've got to put in that username and password that I just set up. So now again, I have access to it. So uh, so now any other person that tries to log into because this is a public URL, it's publicly facing. So uh, you you watch the end of this video, you type that URL, and you're hitting my server trying to gain access to PHP my admin. So you're going to first see that that Unix-based uh, restricted access message. So uh, just uh, for grins and giggles, showing you the the manual or the the webman way that you would do this for other protected directories. You you might want to make a lot of protected directories. That's a pretty handy thing. So in your per directory options for any of your outward facing things, you have uh, document options. And just to show you, uh, I'm gonna go back and forth here. If I look at the directives right now on this this single directory, this is just a subset inside the main Apache uh, comp file. So I've got no options and you notice the line isn't there for allow override all. So let's just go back in here and we'll go to document options and this is all that's allow override all so all these things are now available to use on and follow symbolic links that's how you would turn that on so if I click save and then go and look at that directives file again you're going to notice it's changed so if if your if your your virtual server was set up in Apache the webman way then you could do it either way you could either just type this in like okay for for example options I don't know if you have to capitalize that or not if I get rid of those two things manually editing that file you'll see that the options have changed inside here to what they were before so that unchecked and this is back to default. So if you want to, for, for the most part, you can do point and clicks or you can do command line. Um, 
and I'm not positive, but I think this access control is almost the same as if I would have done the thing with the others, uh, with the protected web directories. It seems to have uh, similar capabilities, but uh, I've never done it with the, with the Apache, so I'm not going to teach that one. <laughs> Teach what you know, right? So I don't have to hit reload because I didn't actually change anything, but I don't know. It might think that I've, because it clicked save, so I'm just going to go ahead and reload it again anyway. And that's your, your secure protected PHP MyAdmin setup complete.